for those who don't know, I'm a huge Saints Row fan. I haven't really played the first game. I really enjoyed the second game. I really enjoyed the third game. I really enjoyed the fourth game. I actually did like Get Out of Hell. Uh, so I was I'm very, 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 very impatient for the next entry in the series because I think it has a lot of potential. I like the characters. I like the comedy. I like the gameplay. The Saints Row is basically the alternative to GTA is less serious, it's got more comedy in it, but it has all the feels and destruction of a GTA game. And for the longest time, you know, it comes out and people said, hey, it's a rip off of GTA, which it is basically a parody of GTA, but it has forged itself its own path. Now, in recent years, the game has went to some very interesting interesting directions and whether you could say this is a good thing or a bad thing is pretty much up for debate for anyone me i think it's an interesting way that they've gone with it but i don't think necessarily think that was a good way to go because it ultimately almost killed the franchise the way that it ended uh for those who don't know in the fourth game you play as superheroes in this matrix style alien invasion that ultimately culminated in the world being destroyed in a in a get out of hell game you play as gat going to hell to get, big, big, get the big boss and like it just got very complicated it's weird it feels like when you're playing this game in the way that, it, that this series is went it feels like a multiverse parallel dimension time it just it just goes in some very weird directions and like i said Depending on how you see it, depending on how you feel about the series, this could be a good or a bad thing. And I haven't said that. I'm glad that they have announced that they are going to be having another game that's coming out. And then I have some thoughts because I've seen the trailer and I ultimately thought it was interesting. But there are some things about it that really stood out to me. And I wish that they, I, and I want to just go ahead and talk about it. Now, for one, I will say this. I know a lot of people do not like this trailer. Uh, because of the way it's because of the way it looks at me personally I do feel that it does feel like a Saints Row it's a little less grounded because Saints Row at least initially felt a little bit more grounded uh, somewhat like GTA before things get a little bit more kooky and all these weird stunts and stuff but I have to admit someone did uh, I did say that this game does remind them of cyberpunk and I admit, it does look like cyberpunk, the way it looks, the way it's shot, the way it feels, the, how, the action of it. It does feel like they took some inspiration, at least aesthetically wise, from Cyberpunk 2077. So hopefully this isn't, um, it doesn't feel super, super close to that. But like I said, we're just going off the trailer. There's really no gameplay, so we, don't, we can't really say what is going on. Now this is not, I'm not sure, now, some sources I've seen said this isn't a reboot, and some sources says, I mean, I know it's not a remaster, but some sources I've came across said this is a reboot, and then some sources say that this isn't a reboot, and if it isn't a reboot, what what art is going, what is going to be in this that's tying into the original Saints Row game, and if it uh, is, you know, okay, perhaps this is a character that left uh, that left from the original core game, maybe in like the first game or the second game or something, and then it's making their way to make forging their own path based off you know some of the experiences of the original game. So it would feel like more of a continuation with just a different character. But if it is a reboot, you know, then will we? Uh, I really want to see more of those same elements of the original games in this, and how much will it be original versus new? is just pretty much up to the developer but i will see how that fits into this because i'm all for expanding a bit more into the saints row uh, world yes we really got attached to these characters over here but if you can make a a bit of a continuation a little side uh, side character going into his own that i'm cool with that as well now um the last games of course was the get out of hell and i want to say there was another game but I'm not sure which what it was because I didn't play it. But mm. now this game is said to re be released next year in February, and one of the best things uh, that I think that came out of the trailer is like I say, it was really hip and uh, action packed. Now of course, uh, with all the new games and stuff that's coming out, there's 
a shit ton of bugs, there's a shit ton of shit that's not developed properly, that some of the games ain't finished, and I'm kind of worried about that because of the way the new uh, gaming techs decide, uh, tend to make games and everything. Like, hopefully this will be an open world experience that is finished and that is good because all of the other uh, Saints Row games were actually finished and good. So, uh, this did premiere on the Gamescom uh, release, a video game release thing. So, this is fairly new. It's been a couple of days since it came out. But I'm like, okay, cool. I'm interested in seeing what we got to go with Saints Row. Now, that, again, new characters customizable main protagonist which is a trend in the Saints Row games the main protagonist that you do play as you can customize them male female black white green just in kind of uh, aesthetic that you think uh, that the game will allow gives you a bit of freedom which I really appreciate it from the games now uh, this is a new location based on the American Southwest so it's gonna be filmed more like Texas New Mexico uh, type area uh, um, called Santo Leso and one of the things that the Saints Row also had usually has in its formula is basically the three gang rule there's three villains three gangs and you gotta deal with these three gangs <laughs> in throughout the game and the story and everything there's gonna be nine districts which again is what you would expect from a Saints Row game the different districts and the power plays that can tell them that now for um, uh, lastly, I want to talk about the, the characters that we've seen in the trailer and my impressions of them. We have Eli, we have Nina, and we have um, Kevin. Now, and even what they show with the main boss character. Now, this is my thing about these characters. They obviously don't feel like characters that probably would be in the Saints Row game. They feel more like this whole new generation of millennials, you know what I'm saying? The, the non-binary and the, you know, the, the gay and the stuff like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what, when I look at these characters, that is pretty much what I see. I see the little nerdy girl that seems like she's gonna be a crazy feminist. I see the black dude that looks like a fake version of Lucius Fox from that terrible show, Batwoman. And I see this Asian guy that, looks like he, he can break dance and he's really smart and I know that's something I'm kind of a trope that I'm just saying right there but I don't care I'm sitting here trying to make a point I can say that this feels like a new generation of saints and that's another thing that I think will be an interesting idea if played right but hopefully they don't do that whole SJW woke crap and that's what's got me worried about it because these characters feel like they're in that woke crowd. Even if you look at the boss character of it, she looks like Batwoman from that terrible Batwoman show. She looks like a broke ass version of Ruby Rose.